guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back in my mini happy planner dashboard layout that I use as my everyday planner. And I'm in here for the week of March 2nd through to Sunday, Febu February, March 8th, where I will be using a new sticker book because for all of February, I used the Joanne and Happy Planners mega sticker book. So I'm now going to be using detailed florals. I am very excited. All right, let's get started. I'm super excited to use a new sticker book. I mean, it was great. The challenge that I had in Feb February was great, but it is nice to be using a different sticker book. All right, so I'm looking through the florals and thinking there are different color schemes that I could certainly use in these florals. And I think what I want to do is kind of do this purpley orange green. So kind of do that color scheme. So if I'm going to go with that color scheme, I want to find those stickers basically to cover that up because the orange kind of matches the kind of orangey pink that's in there already. So that might be the perfect sticker to go in this box here. And I know there's so many of you that are already looking at the uh, July or the, the new happy planners that are coming out and there's a dashboard layout that does that's so neutral that I know I would love it, but I don't need another dashboard layout planner. I'm going to keep this one until the end of 2020. Now I do need a new lined vertical because um, I bought my lined vertical last year in July. So I will definitely need a new one for July for my, uh, my line, whoa, cannot speak. I need a new one for my social media planner. But who knows, maybe I might do start doing something different for my social media, we'll see. So I am whiting out the line in the middle because that's where I really want to do a ton of decoration. So the, I think that's too big for just this space. So I might choose, are they the exact same two pages? Almost, yeah. I'm glad they kind of give you two pages of each theme of florals. Which tiny ones do I want to use? This one? And then I think one more in the middle. And then I'm going to get a quote from the Get a quote from here that kind of goes with the purple and the when in doubt add flowers. Yes, always when in doubt add flowers, but now it's too big. So I'm gonna cut that there. And I know I'm covering the flowers, but there is an effect that I'm going for. So really I use this space as like main decorative space and I love using it for that because it allows me to be super functional on this side but still be able to put tons of florals on that. So I do want to put like a tiny little floral on this corner but I don't think there's anything really super tiny other than this one. And that will, it should work. Yep. Perfect. Already loving the color scheme. So this area is where I'm going to put my workout. So maybe I can put one of these. Like a remember. Or if there's a green one. They all just say remember or check it off. Or note to self. Like I wish they had all the different sayings available. Ah, here we go. Must do. Yes. Perfect. Oh, 
I totally forgot about up here. So up there can be, hmm. Now I think I'm getting into more decorative. Yeah, don't forget, remember, I'm going to put remember there, although, yeah. I'm gonna put purple instead, priority. I could have put purple down here as well, but either one works. Priority, love it. Okay, I'm done with that side already. I think it just looks gorgeous. Then moving on to this side, I'm gonna place that under here so it's easier to decorate. I don't mind this one up here too much because it does match with the color scheme that I've got going. So now, let's see. There are these hexagons, but I think they're too small for me to write anything in. And then there are these, but again, I don't wanna go stray too far from the colors that are here. And there's not enough of each of those boxes that I could do that. Um, there's these. I'm just checking in terms of functional what I've got. Okay, I'm thinking these are the colors really that are in this spread. And I'm going to check with my, check my mod liners to see what works. Purple doesn't really. The green doesn't either. Or maybe it's just that. But the pink, I don't think the pink will. No, it's the pink. Well, my mild liners don't match in this instance, so I can't really use them. Um, well, that's disappointing. And I'm afraid of those that smudge. So now let's go back into. Trying to find functional stickers for this. I love using mild liners, but in this case, they're not going to work. gonna try and use these here. Yeah, I'm gonna try and use them and stick to the colors that I want. So put this on Monday. And then Henry, I think Henry's got something that day. So it's going to be different colors for for each day. And this is going to be difficult because Henry's got a couple of things on that day. So they might just all have to be to-do lists on that particular day. And I don't know why I'm going for blue because I'm sticking to my color scheme, so green may effectively work. And I'm covering up the word Tuesday and I don't mind at all. But then I'm going to probably add, oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, because now I think I could have done purple up here for Robin, but I think I'll make that box work for for what it is. I'm going to gonna skip a couple of days here actually because um, Robin's got something on that day, as do I. So I'm going to be using a lot of bo like tick boxes or whatever it is. And now I kind of don't want the green on the green here. I know you 
guys hate it when I peel up stickers. You're like, whoa. But these boxes really are for... Oh, and that doesn't even go down there. It goes up at the top. I'm gonna be amazed if this sticker will stick for the third time after peeling it up twice. Stay. Okay, now, yeah, it's weird because I know that this day, there's a, there's a lot going on that day. Um, I do have to work that day. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. So, and when I have a lot going on, I normally draw in my to-do boxes, which is what I might do. I'm tempted to take this one off, but I can probably try and fit everything I need to do in here. Okay, and then for these, these three days that don't have any, I might just add Or even on this day, I could add a purple in here. And I'm wondering, I'm looking at these hexagons and would it have made sense for me to put, but I don't have all the colors that I need. It only has some of the colors that I need. Oh, those are cute. I forgot about those. So I may... this here. Okay, actually, I like that. Then I'm going to just find little circle icons here. Nothing crazy, but just little, huh, there we go, all the chores. Sorry about that, guys. So I put down um, the run errands and then the coral box down there. I love the color scheme. And this is just really functional. Now I could add a little bit more floral around the outside, but I don't think I necessarily need to because the colors work really well and I don't want to overload it with stuff because there is such a thing as over decorating in my mind. Um, like if the flowers were facing a different way, like I mean, oh there. The leaves are, I'm gonna cut off. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Yep, yeah, just a little something. And then I honestly wish there were more of this smaller. Like these were somewhat smaller. I mean, I know you guys, Everybody loves big florals, but I just want a teeny tiny one. Teeny tiny. And we don't have them. Like there's that. But I'm, I'm looking at these, I'm like, why didn't I see these before? See, there's a lot of these now, but that's okay. Maybe if I just put like if I put just something up here. No. I feel like that is just going a little bit too far because it just feels like I'm putting a sticker down to just put a sticker down. It doesn't serve any purpose. It's not going to help anything decoratively by going up there. So maybe I can just hmm, maybe just like this. Just to, okay, that looks odd. Very odd. So no, not putting anything up there. I'm gonna leave it. You guys, you can, you can kind of tell when you're getting to that point where 
you feel like you're just putting a sticker down just to put a sticker down and I don't want to get to that point. All right, I think that's it and I love it. I love the way it looks, I love the colors and I'm still using the colors that are actually in the spread so I love it, yay. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.